The Boeing MQ-25 Stingray is an aerial refueling drone resulting from the Carrier-Based Aerial Refueling System CBARS, program, which grew out of the previous unmanned carrier launched airborne surveillance and strike UCLASS program. The MQ-25 first flew on September 19, 2019. The United States Navy began its efforts to develop carrier-based UAVs in 2006. The original UCLASS concept was a stealth attack platform capable of penetrating enemy air defenses. In 2012, lethality and strike requirements were diluted to create an intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance ISR-oriented aircraft that can be rapidly developed to perform low-intensity counterterrorism missions. On 1 February 2016, Following delays over whether UCLASS would specialize in the striker or ISR role, it was reported that significant priority would be given to producing Super Hornet-sized carrier-based aerial refueling tankers as carrier-based aerial refueling systems. CBARS with little ISR and some capability for communication relay and strike capability delaying future variants. The Pentagon apparently tweaked this program to address the Navy's expected shortage of fighter aircraft by directing funds to buy more F-A-18S, F-Super Hornet and accelerate the purchase of the F-35C. Having CBARS as the first carrier-based UAV provides a less complicated bridge to a future F-AXX if it becomes an unmanned strike platform. It also addresses the operator's need for an organic refueling aircraft, which was proposed for UCLASS since 2014 freeing up 20 to 30 percent of the Super Hornet to perform missions in a more capable and cost-effective way than modifying the F-35, B-22 Osprey, and E-2D Hawkeye, or returning retired S-3 Vikings to service. Four development contracts were issued in 2016, with a formal RFP expected in 2017, with operational status in the early to mid-2020s. In July 2016, it was officially named, MQ-25A Stingray, after the previous RAQ-25A designation. Rear Admiral, Michael Manazir has suggested that three of these UCAVs could fly on the F-35 for refueling and sensor operation. Vice Admiral Mike Shoemaker said the MQ-25 can extend the Super Hornet's 450 nmi, 520 miles, 830 kilometers unfueled combat radius to well beyond 700 nmi, 810 miles, 1,300 kilometers. The Navy's goal is for the aircraft to deliver a total of 15,000 pounds 6, kilograms, of fuel to four to six aircraft over a range of 500 nmi, 580 miles, 930 kilometers. The Navy released its final request for proposals for the MQ-25 Stingray in October 2017 to Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Northrop Grumman, and General Atomics. Boeing quietly completed building its tail body wing in 2014 when the UCLASS program was suspended and revived it for the CBARS mission. On December 19, 2017, Boeing unveiled a prototype aircraft entrant that incorporates lessons from the Boeing Phantom Ray flying wing and other unmanned aerial systems. Boeing's MQ-25 design is nothing new for tanking missions, but Boeing says it was considered when designing it. General Atomics proposed their Sea Avenger concept which was an enlarged Predator Sea Avenger for refueling, while Lockheed Martin proposed their Sea Ghost concept based on the RQ-170 Sentinel. Northrop Grumman announced on October 25, 2017 that it was withdrawing its X-47B from the MQ-25 competition, saying the company would not be able to execute the program under the terms of the service's request for proposals. The company's departure signaled to some analysts that the Navy's requirements could support the tail body wing design instead of the flight wing considered proposed by Northrop Grumman and Lockheed Martin. On August 30, 2018, the U.S. Navy declared Boeing the winner of the competition and awarded an $805 million development contract for four MQ-25A aircraft to be completed in August 2024. Three additional MQ-25A test aircraft were ordered on April 2, 2020 for a total of seven currently ordered. The program could grow to $13 billion overall and comprise a 72 aircraft. In late April 2019, the MQ-25 test aircraft was taken by road from the Boeing Technical Factory at Lambert Street. Lewis across the Mississippi River to Mid-America Street. Lewis, which joined Scott Air Force Base. 
After taxiing tests, the Federal Aviation Administration certifies the aircraft and grants it airspace for flight testing. MQ-25 made its first flight on 19 September 2019. In December 2020, Boeing released a video showing the MQ-25's first flight with the Cobham Aerial Refueling Warehouse installed outside. On 4 June 2021, the first refueling test was conducted, with the MQ-25 providing fuel for the FA-18F Super Hornet. The MQ-25 originated at Mid-America Airport in Mascouda, Illinois, with the support of Air Test and Evaluation Squadron VX-23. The mission lasted approximately 4.5 hours with the two aircraft performing much of the flight dry or wet for just over 10 minutes and a total of 325 pounds of fuel transfer. Further refueling tests were conducted with the E-2 and F-35C.